Some pretty little desert flowers. Look at that. I love that purple. This is our windy location for this combat shotgun review. Nothing fancy project. I don't think I've ever shot here before. I'm trying to get out of that wind for you guys. It is windy. So I located this trench. Check this out. We'll be shooting right there, reviewing right there. Target's about 25 yards down that away. And then I have an IPSC plate beyond. Hopefully I can connect with that with slugs. I say hopefully because I have not even shot this gun yet. So who knows where it's at. We'll just have a good time, y'all. Remington TAC-14 detachable mag version. Barricade review. It's modified, dudes. Check it out. So it's got this brace that I bought for it. Not given to me by SB Tactical. Unlike a lot of the reviewers you watch, I actually buy my stuff using that Patreon money you guys donate every month. Thanks for being a member. So we bought this because I think it's going to transform this shotgun. I mean, literally transform it. It normally is outfitted with the bird's head grip by Shockwave, this right here. So I took this off as a relatively easy process. I put on the TAC-14 stabilizing brace from SB Tactical. There's your adapter. It outfits an AR-15 pistol grip. This is made of plastic, which is good in that it's a little bit lighter weight. It's bad in that I noticed that you can cross thread that buffer tube in there. I had a dickens of a time getting that buffer tube threaded in correctly. Then I tightened down the castle nut and there's also a little Allen head right here that you'll tighten up. Not a collapsible pistol brace, it's just a fixed. But like I said, I think it's gonna transform it. This is our magazine on the 870. We're, we are very familiar at this point with the 870, are we not? I painted the front sight fluorescent orange so I can see my steel targets. And it already has some desert wear on it. There's some of the ammo I'm gonna be shooting right there, dudes. Some of it in this rocky trench. Wind's picking up. Coming into the mothership. So I did say I think it's gonna transform the gun. Why is that? I think the answer is because with a pistol grip, uh, I reviewed the TAC 14 already, the shockwave already. They shot really good. We did demonstrate how you can be accurate with them with just a pistol grip, that uh, shockwave grip. Takes a certain technique. Go watch those reviews. We got a lot of infield shooting that we showed you. Uh, Jardine was my crew member on that. But uh, it's not ideal, especially when you go full power loads, like buckshot. And that's what we're gonna start off with right now, actually. So I've got some buckshot loaded up. We're gonna be shooting at that steel plate down yonder. I already got a round in the chamber, so that is seven rounds in this very, very compact package. Okay, let's check it out. So we could do it with the, just a pistol grip, but it's, uh, it's a little bit of recoil. Maybe not these rounds I'm shooting, but if you go full power, three inch magnum buckshot, it's a lot. Far target. Oh, hit. <laughs> oh, man. Smacking me right there a little bit, but that's expected. Hitting that far target without the pistol brace. GoPro, start recording. Uh, that's challenging. I mean, you got to come up with that technique I talked about, showed on there. Um, can you do it? Yeah, uh, without stress you can. Without your heart rate coming up, you can. But I don't know, dudes. I I don't think it's ideal. I wouldn't want to do it. So this pistol brace, and it is completely legal per the ATF, 
This is actually a uh, shotgun pistol. It's not an SBR. It's just the way the law is interpreted now, thank heavens. Completely legal. In fact, in the box with the, uh, the brace, they have a, a paragraph saying how it's legal. But now you have basically what used to be classified as you know, an SBR, a short barrel, not rifle, but shotgun. And now it's completely legal. It's a, you know affordable. You can hit with it. You can absorb recoil, and it's a really tiny package. I know that's what she said. It's a, it's still a, a magazine-fed shotgun, and I'm loading up while I'm talking to you guys. And here's the magazine. Unlike Mossberg, Remington isn't really doing a lot of bragging on their website about the magazine. It's a metal mag. You can see there's some tabs here. Hopefully those won't bend over time. And if you dropped it on concrete with it fully loaded, would they tweak and you'd have to get your Leatherman out and re, you know bend them back? Probably. A magazine fed shotgun we've talked about before. I just did a review on the Mossberg 590 DM, right? In that review, I said, hey, the tube fed shotgun is not broken, right? I'll stick with that. It isn't. A tube fed shotgun is excellent, simple. You don't have a big old magazine you have to carry with you. Find a place to store. But things change when we go with this short barreled, or I should say, a shotgun pistol. And what changes is we have a lot shorter overall length. And now, my biggest beef with the regular TAC 14, which I said in that review, is it was rounds limited. What is it, like a four plus one or something with a regular TAC 14? I think I reviewed the uh, 20 gauge version. Great gun, smooth, fast shooting, well made, just like this one is. But the Shockwave had one more round over it. And I said that I preferred the Shockwave for that. I will say and stick with, that I think the 870 shoots smoother. Fire target. I can't believe how much that recoils for a low base. I'm gonna bring it more into my shoulder and bring my cheek off the receiver a little bit. That helps. I can't believe that. <laughs> it recoils like I'm shooting buckshot and I'm just shooting burst shot on that one. So I was talking about, let's shoot some uh, slugs, shall we? The magazine really transforms the TAC-14. Albeit it is still a magazine, it's big, you gotta find a place for it, all that. But now I've got more firepower, it's easier to reload, if I have the magazines readily or preloaded. I mean, as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I don't think the magazine is super easy to load. It's not horrible, but these tabs right here will grab. So you just gotta like push them all the way down. Maybe put some lube on those uh, magazine fingers right here on the underside of them would really help. I'm dead serious about that, by the way. I would totally do that. Should have done that. But now I'm good to go. I'm not rounds limited. Still gonna have to figure out a way to carry the extra mags. I know, it's a pain. They're not exactly lightweight. The whole gun isn't lightweight. I'll put the weight on the screen. I forgot to bring it with me, but it's like, I don't know, a couple ounces heavier than the Shockwave. We still have that milled steel receiver of the 870. Then this is a polymer magazine body. Big old paddle, release paddle for the detachable Mag 870. And by the way, the stabilizer brace has like an ergo grip on it. And you can see this is twisting already. I'm gonna super glue that sucker on. I'll just put some freaking super glue on there. Good to go. I took my other glove off because um, I'm afraid of tearing it on those fingers. These pigs are very, very delicate. High dexterity, super delicate. Slugs. See if I can connect with that over there. 
really bring it into the shoulder. Hit. Woo, that's a lot of recoil. All hits. Dude, I'm about to knock the thing over. It's like swaying left and right. Oh, that's a lot of recoil. I'm trying to take my face off of it. And that's out. Cross bolt safety, just like we see on the Remington 870 as before. Uh, let's see how it interfaces with that pistol grip. It's not bad. Uh, I really like it when I have a uh, safety right here. I think the Winchester 1300s is here because it just interfaces with my longer fingers better. What doesn't work with a pistol grip, in my opinion, that's all it is, is a pistol grip with a uh, like a Mossberg 500 or 590 where we have to come up here on a tang. That no work. This one works fine. So this thing recoils uh, substantially. <laughs> Am I scared? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit I'm scared. Uh, I still think it's a really cool gun and I'm gonna give it a really high likability scale too. Um, I have shot it before this video, putting some desert wear on it. Uh, we're gonna shoot, those are slugs right there, by the way. And then I'm gonna put some federal uh, buckshot in there too. So these are, this is a low, low recoil nine pellet, double aught. Yeah, high likability scale uh, with a detachable magazine. The regular TAC 14, still a positive review, I love it. It's just four plus one for me, uh, it ain't enough. Now, along with this shotgun today, I have a regular Ghost Ring 870. We'll shoot that a little bit too for comparison. Uh, and then we'll remind ourselves how that full-size gun recoils against this basically shotgun pistol. Watch for the review is a triple CP mass drop awesome watch awesome watch this is what i was talking about so it's kind of a cross field watch and a cross dive watch so i'll put the mass drop link below use it uh, if enough guys click on that link the mass drop will come back they call themselves drop now not mass drop all right so this is full power well actually low recoil double odd buck short target a little scared. <laughs> I'm gonna knock that one over. I'm trying to bring this up because this really smacks your cheek. Let me come back a bit. Nope, that did not help. Holy oh, freak, that's a lot of recoil. Jeez, that beats you up. It beats you up. Like my cheek right here is getting thumped. But how many rounds would you be shooting? Probably a magazine full and then the fight's over. Unless you're having a really bad day. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, dude, you need to relocate, go somewhere else. Cool gun though. I mean, again, super short overall package. What are some other options that would go in this? Uh, size I think I was telling you guys the uh, a folding stock AK would be uh, at the top of my list like an AK 63 or something like that I'll hit yeah an AK 63 would be up there for me about the same weight maybe a little heavier but I'll tell you what, it wouldn't beat you up like this thing does. Low base now. Let's see how that magazine is to insert. Not too bad, locks in tight. That's a mimmed paddle right there. So it's made of metal. 
again you can see my skateboard tape modification on the forend which is to me mandatory Magazine is doing better than the Mossbergs did. Once again, I found that I could outrun that one. Like if I would shuck shells really quick. Uh, I only have six rounds in this one. It's not a 10 round mag, so I'm not really trying to shoot as fast as possible. Because then that means I have to reload. <laughs> and make you guys wait. <sighs> Awkward position. Here in the trench. Sitting on a gun case, actually, with my bad knee. Let's see. So let's do a presentation. Up. Yep. Close target. And we're out, I think. Love the release on the 870 right here. That's cool. Smooth though. I mean, the gun's shooting really smooth. Recoils though. It does recoil. Something we didn't really feel with the original TAC 14 review because again, we shot it in 20 gauge. Remember? And we had the pistol grip on it so it wasn't seating up against our fat chipmunk cheeks. Now let's take out this Remington 870. There we go. Coming out of inventory. Ghost ring equipped 870 tactical. Orange follower. Picatinny rail. Just a great gun. Got the nothing fancy electrical tape around the, the recoil pad there so it doesn't grab. Interchangeable chokes. I think I got the mod screw and choke there. I think. Let's see how this sucker does. I'm a thinking it's going to recoil less. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit heavier, longer barrel. Same gun though. This is just a cut down version of this. These two guns are the same. Cut down version, detachable mag. And this review, by the way, works for all 870 DM. So if you're curious around about how an 870 DM operates, you're looking at it right now. I'm not seeing any issues. All right, let's check it out. Regular 870, beautiful ghost string. Oh yeah. Far target. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is less recoil, a little bit smoother. The regular stock is much more comfortable than that brace. I ain't gonna lie, it is. But, like I've said with these shorter shotguns, they're special purpose, special philosophy of use where you need something super compact, but you want the 12 gauge hitting power. You know, freaking 12 gauge slug coming out of a package that size, whew. That's a lot. Buckshot. That is a lot, dude. Eight seventy shooting great. Never getting rid of this gun. Just a standard eight seventy tactical. I love the ghost rings on them. So it's got a white front bead. See that? Don't want to aim it at my face. Oops. Desert damage, standard. Yeah, this, this thing, again, I haven't shot it like hundreds and hundreds of rounds. I shot it before this review and it was 100% then. It's 100% now. Uh, I'm not overrunning the magazine. The magazine's not falling out, it's not jamming. Uh, I'd prefer this, if you're asking, over a shockwave. At least if you go with the detachable magazine versions. Whew. Here comes the punishment. That fluorescent sight really helps. It really helps. Otherwise, it's just... 
just a metal bead. What I'm trying to see when I'm shooting if if it helps for me to come forward on the pistol grip. You know? Maybe take some of the shock up and it I'm not really seeing that. Your best bet is just to seat that brace against your shoulder as hard as you can and hang on for dear life. <laughs> just man up, man. Take the, the punishment. You know, like I said, um, you're not going to be shooting that many rounds in an engagement, I don't think. And we're going to pop her around in this with no magazine in it. Close. Safety on. That way we'll have seven rounds. I should have been doing that all along. Uh, I don't know if I'd go out and shoot this TAC 14 DM recreationally. I wouldn't. It's not fun. It's cool. Doesn't mean it's fun though. It's abusive. So, close target. Now let's go. Do I have any more slugs? We're gonna go buckshot again. <laughs> Not fancy, you're a glutton for punishment. Nah, I'm just trying to give it a good test is all. You can't see it, but I'm like dropping everything in the dirt. The gun just rolled off in the dirt. This is what I always talk about like on the tabletop reviews. This, look, this is just a desert. It's just abusive. <laughs> Everything just is getting dirty, knocked around, beat up. That's why I love the desert, man. It's awesome. One of the many reasons. Move this a little bit closer to you. I got this gun checked out from Gunnies, Sporting Goods, Orem, Utah, thanks to Gunnies. Go to their new website, it's pretty cool. You can order right on their website, actually. They've been helping me for a number of years. I would like you to go there and bug Wyatt and Brian Hood. Tell them thanks for supporting the Nut and Fancy Project and then go buy something from them. So they don't give me money, I don't give them money. It's just a really pure you know, relationship for review. Here we go, buckshot, far target. Getting ready to get beat up a bit. It's not too bad, I don't want you guys to think that it's like, oh my gosh, that's like total pain. It's not, it's just, it's something. I would buy this. Yeah, I know it, it's abusive to shoot. I mean, we're establishing that right now. Uh, but man, the double odd buck. It's good times, man. And then slugs. You put like a Brennicky slug or something in there. Uh, the one thing I will say on this is I wish it was drilled and tapped on the receiver. That's a miss because it would be really nice to put like a red dot on here. I wouldn't mind putting a hollow sun 503C or even a TRS 25 on it. That makes it just, you know, low light capable, quicker, get on target. Here comes a couple more slugs. Shoot a couple of them up. See what's up. I'm surprised it's right on. So I'm shooting this and it's like, with that bead, like I've said, you can be surprisingly accurate. Slug, slug, then a mixture of loads. Oh, missed on that one. That brand of slug shot to the right. slug action this brand seems to be shooting to the right so I'll aim left 
Ski up. Come on, baby. Oh, dang, that's a lot of recoil. Woo! God, it just beats you up. Done with slugs. I'm probably gonna have a black and blue cheek right here, dudes. Oh, one of the reasons is this is not a stock, this is a brace. So there's really no padding. This portion right here is what's smacking into me, I think. Right here. So it's basically an angled metal tube. Such is the price for SAWC compliance. I thought you said you were done, not fancy. Oh, shit. I had one more round. Oh my gosh. That was uh, a workout. <laughs> I'd much rather cheat it out of a full size 870, y'all. Still highly recommended the 870. Oh my gosh, what a great gun. And I uh, <laughs> just dumped it in the dirt again. Look, the whole thing's like full of dirt. <laughs> Uh, this is recommended too. It's a, like I said in the uh, the Shockwave and the original TAC 14 reviews. These are special application guns. Special application. So this one with its detachable six round magazine, excellent. Uh, do I think it's better than the tube fed TAC 14? Yes, I said that at the beginning of this video because we don't have the shortage of rounds we do with the regular TAC-14, it's easier to reload. And because it's shorter overall length, uh, I'll take the inconvenience of the magazine. It's still what I talked about. You gotta find a way to carry it, it's bulky. Uh, it's a quick reload if you can do it though. And from what I can tell in my limited shooting on the 870, or I should say the TAC-14DM, the magazine is well designed. I didn't see any issues in feeding. Uh, all types of loads. I really love this brace. It's not perfect. You saw how it recoils into my fat face. Uh, but dang, it gives you a lot more control and ability to actually connect with your target. Uh, good gun, good setup, really cool. A little dry firing. Thanks dudes. Come see me again out in the desert, on the tabletop, or in the bunker. Thanks for being TMP Patreon. So long.